Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I got a cop. Hey, Sean, we're going to find anything today. I hope so. <laughs> All right, we out here in the woods here getting ready to hit them up right now. Stay Keep tuned. Here we go. All right, we're back here deep in the woods doing some hunting. I got my first target, and it looks like a colonial button. I mean, a butt buckle to me. That's got the resemblance of a colonial buckle. I love it. First hit. All right, let's, let's back up. Keep moving. Awesome. All right, Sean and Chris found an old home site in the woods here, man. Way back in the woods. Nice. And Chris has found a couple little buttons, I think, hadn't you, Chris? Yes, sir. Found oh, a couple man. Little nice. Flat buttons. Oh, colonial flat buttons. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Good job. Yeah, Where there, brother? Yes, Good sir. job, man. Awesome. Let's keep hunting them up, see what else we find. Oh, yeah. Shaw dug some bricks over here. You see a lot of ferns in here. So, definitely an old home site back in the middle of the woods of nowhere. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, Chris is in here tearing it up <laughs> and found a ring. Yeah. Let's check it out, man. Oh yeah, yeah that's got nice. A little bit of design on it. Oh yeah, that's definitely a colonial ring right there, buddy. Oh yeah. Now it looks like it's gonna clean up. I can see the brass on. Oh, gold maybe. Yeah, it might be gold. Plate. It could be gold. Yeah. All right, we'll clean it. Check it then. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Whoa, we got Sean here gonna show us some colonial iron. Colonial iron. Show us some colonial iron, Sean. Come on, buddy. Show it to us, buddy. We want to see some colonial iron, not regular iron, colonial yeah, iron. Yeah. All right, he's got a little. Got a target down in the hole. Target in the hole. There it is, colonial iron. Guaranteed colonial iron. Guaranteed colonial, colonial right there, buddy. That's part of a hoe, probably. <laughs> All right, Charles, show me something good. All right, buddy. All right, Chris got a big old oh, yeah. button. Yes. I think I can hear that one, Chris, on my machine. Oh, good yeah. God. That thing was singing good. I bet it was. Holy smoke, that's a nice one, too, man. Yeah, won't Congrats, be missing man. that. Nice. All right, man. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Just found a weedy down here. Dug another coin up. This is definitely bigger than a weedy. I don't know what it is yet. I'm just trying to clean it off a little bit. I can't really tell. Can y'all see? Looks like a star's going all the way around, and I see a head right there. I don't know what it is yet, though. Let's see, clean it back off just a little. All right. I'm going to do some more cleaning on that. Find out what that is. All right. Stay tuned to the cleanup. We'll show it again. That's sweet. Sean, are you digging some more colonial iron? Uh, not this time. <laughs> Got a Virginia one-piece button. A Virginia one-piece button. Oh my God, look at that. That is beautiful, man. Oh, yes. Awesome, brother. One piece, man. That's nice. Right there. Look at that. Maybe five, six inches. Look at that. I'm oh, keep, that's beautiful, I'll man. I'll clean it up later. I don't want to mess it yeah, up. Yeah, I'll get a picture of that later, Here's man. Here's the back. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Good job, man. Sean, you got to stop calling me over here for all that colonial iron, okay? Oh, I got it on colonial mode. <laughs> you got your detective on colonial? Popped right out. Ah, oh, look Popped at that. Right there it is. Oh, there it is in the dirt right there. Check it out. Look at that. I don't know what it is yet. I can see what was sitting up against there right yep. there. I might be able to see it right on that. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. All right. I lost my toothbrush, so. Uh-oh. I see a head, do you? Yeah, I think so. I see some stars going around too, I think. I need a oh, toothbrush. Yeah. Oh, man. Looking good. All right, we got a toothbrush on the way. All right, here we go. Oh, I see Ooh. the head. What is it, though? Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like a matron. Yeah, I there think that's is. a large set. Largy. That's a large set, I All believe. Right, I didn't... Sweet, good job, man. Put it there. All right, good job, man. Right. Like getting a couple couple hits in here now. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, Chris is screaming over here. He said, come All look right. at this. Come look at this baby. Oh, my goodness. We must have something good. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I got a cob. Yep. A cob back here in the woods. Oh, my God. I think you see the date on it. Flip that thing over. Oh, man. That is sweet. Put it there, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. My first that cob. is awesome. My very my first, first one. one? Yes, Congratulations, man. Thank that you. is that awesome. Half, half oh, my half. God. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is awesome right there. It looks, like, just a, it looks like an 88. Oh man. All those shotgun shells. This is probably going to be a shotgun shell. It's, it wasn't ringing up high. It's either an 80. And then once I cleared a bunch of that stuff out the way, Dude, it started pinging. And I was like, oh gosh. Oh my god. I thought I could see a date on it. Oh that's awesome. God. Man, congratulations. That's thank awesome. you. Thank you. Sean, I can't be taking video of you all day, man. I got to get in detective a little bit. 
Oh, oh it's still man. Got the tongue on Look it. Look at that. That is a pretty buckle. Look at that. We just hit a little sight. Um, Chris just dug that cob. And uh, Sean just dug this nice buckle right here. And not far from here, he just dug that, we think it's a large scent. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Cool. All right, let's keep getting up, man. Damn. All right, John's over here. He's been digging in the pit, but he decided to come over when he heard there was a uh, cob found. He said, I'm over there. But he ain't been done bad in the pit. Look, that's a beautiful uh, buckle right there. Yeah, yeah speckle like buckle. Another button. And yep. he's got a nice bottle we got to get a picture of, too, a half of a bottle. Yep. So we'll check that out later. Oh, man, awesome, man. Man, I can't believe all the stuff coming out of here. All right, with all this cloning stuff coming here, I got to dig everything just about. Looks like some kind of little buckle, maybe. I'm not sure how if that's old or not. Here comes Sean. Let's check it out with Sean. You think that's old, Sean? Uh, 1800s, late 1800s. Yeah, that's it was not a bad. Leather, yeah. Leather strap would have went through. Went all the way through. Out. Maybe doubled over. Yeah. Cinched. Cool. All right. We're, we're going to keep finding some good stuff, man. All right, I got something to hold. Does anybody know what that is? I'm going to pull it up and see who can tell me what that is right there. All right, I'm not even going to say what it is. I want y'all to tell me in the comments below what y'all think that is right there. I know some of y'all are going to know. All right, I'm going to bag it up and keep moving. All right, I just dug another one of those things. Y'all got to tell me what you think it is. It actually broke when I picked it up. It broke on me. Well, we got both halves. All right, let's bag it up. All right, right where Chris cut, uh, dug that cob. Sean was over there looking in the dirt and check this out. He found a couple uh, pipe stems here. This is where he used to smoke tobacco in the old days, these uh, clay pipe stems. Found a couple of them. Cool deal, man. Good job. Awesome, man. I got to start looking close. I tell you what, y'all training me. Y'all got me in training. All right, while we were hunting in the woods, uh, John's been up here digging this pit all day. Except for a short period, he went in there and found him a, a nice... Uh, Eagle button took a short break, but uh, he's still down here. Check out this hole he dug today. This is just today right here. Oh my God, that is a big hole, John. Man, but it's paid off for him. I think y'all might have saw the buckle that he's already found and a couple things out of it. He got a lot of pottery out of here. But, but one of the main pieces, look at the top of this bottle. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful right there? Look at that. That's beautiful right there, man. And, um, Sean says he thinks he might have the bottom to it while they were here digging before one time and found it. All right, John says he's got a button in there right there. It could be a buckle too, maybe, or a button? Possibly. I mean, it's round. Check it out. All right, it's round. No matter what it is, it's round. It's coming out. Coming out right now. What we got? And it's one of those... <laughs> oh, man. Just a, a circle O-ring like for yeah, the, uh, copper. How about uh, that? Yeah, they had the uh, yarn buttons. Gotcha. And look here, we're still getting you're getting into a lot of charcoal in here. Yep. And brick and pieces in here, so good spot to look at all the charcoal in here. Yeah, man. Man, we had a blast today doing some colonial hunting today. Uh, Sean, Chris, Buddy, John, and myself, all of us were hitting the colonial spots today. Uh, John started out in the field digging up the pit. He's been digging on this pit now for a long time. He's found some really cool stuff. I hope y'all seen some other videos where he's found some awesome stuff in it. But uh, he did leave the pit briefly. He got kind of tired of digging. I think he came out in the woods when he heard that a uh, uh, cob was found. So he came out and hunted a little bit. And he actually went in there and found a, uh, a nice Civil War button, an uh, uh, eagle button. And, and no time, and he went right back digging. So. Good job, John, coming out there that quick and finding something good. But a couple of the other guys found some really cool stuff. Buddy and I did okay. I think Buddy found a, a one or two um, buttons and some other stuff. And I got a couple things I'll show you here in just a second. But uh, Chris and um, Sean did the best today. And I'm going to show you this stuff a little bit. First, let's start off. I'll show you what I got here first, and then we'll go to the good stuff. Here we go. Alright, here's my stuff right here. You know the trash stuff. There's a lot of iron in there. We hit some home sites out in the woods. Uh, and they were old sites, 16, probably 1700 house sites. So, you know, you get a lot of shotgun shells for people hunting in there. Some old iron around the houses and all. Very little trash around the houses in there. Just from hunters probably leaving some stuff around. But we did get some old stuff in a couple of these spots. First, uh, these things right here. Y'all know what these are, right? I asked you on the film. 
These are harmonica reeds right here. And I got two of them. They got actually different sizes, I guess, of harmonicas right there. Uh, this is an old lead ball right there. Uh, this is what they call a ponto. This is that would actually be inside of the bottom of a, of a wine bottle right there. And that's definitely old right there. You see, look at the thickness there versus the thickness over here. Now, that's definitely old right there. The wine bottle would have come up this way right here around and come up. And that would come up. Well, actually, it'd be like that, I believe, up inside the bottle like that. The wine bottle would come up right there. Pretty cool right there. You know, that's kind of old right there. It might be a good spot to go check again. I found this right here. This is an old, uh, I guess a sash buckle or something maybe. And it looked like it was silver plated at one time. Because I cleaned it off a little bit right there and you can see the copper going through. So it is silver plated. Um, this is probably one of my best finds right here. This is a 1600s buckle right there. Isn't that cool right there? That's probably my best. That's, that is real old right there. And that colonial site right there. I did find a V nickel 1909 and a wheat penny 1919. Well, that's about it on my stuff. So let's check out Sean's next. Let's check it out right here. I'd have to say Sean had a great day. He got a large scent. He got a buckle. He got a couple pipe stems. It looks like I think three, four buttons, colonial buttons, and a couple of uh, musket balls. He says he thinks they might be pewter musket balls. But the main thing he got was this right here. Check this button out. A beautiful one-piece Virginia button. That thing probably date back to the early 1800s. Good job, Sean. That is one pretty button, Sean. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and check out, well, you say John's stuff now. This is some of the stuff John got out of the pit and that one other button right here. Check it out. Here is a picture of a beautiful spectacle button John got at a pit. And here's a couple pictures of some of the pottery that he was digging out of the pit. This pottery dates back to the 1700s. But in this next picture coming up right here is a picture of a beautiful onion bowl that he dug. It's almost half of the whole onion bowl, which is really hard to get one in that much intact. Good job, John. Excellent dig. All right, let's check out what Chris found now. He got one off his bucket list today, and it was probably one of the best finds of the day. Let's check it out right now. Chris had a stellar day. He found gold and silver, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But let's check out some of his other finds. On the top right, top left of this picture shows a, um, I think a buckle, probably a shoe buckle. And if you look over to the right, he's got two, four, six, eight buttons it looks like there and a small tack in the bottom right well these two items on the far left that gold and that silver let's talk about those now this first right here is a gold ring it has 10k written on it he said and it looks like it has some kind of little stones in the front of it as you can see on the very front piece right there but one of his main finds was this oh my god a cob his first cob he's ever found and it looks like it, I see an 8, so it's probably 1680-something. That is awesome. Good job, Chris. Congratulations on a stellar find and a bucket lister. Congratulations, Chris, on that bucket lister. That, that was a beautiful cob you found there. I love that thing, man. Well, I guess that's going to wrap it up. We had an awesome time. Hopefully, we can do it again soon. And uh, get out there in those colonials. I love the colonial. Civil War's fun, too, but I tell you what, I'm leaning toward colonial right now. I right, appreciate everybody coming along on this adventure. Uh, please click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming along.